We know how much God loves us because He sent His Son to save us. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Jennifer Benson Schull. When a series of pink I Love You signs mysteriously appeared in the town of Welland, Ontario, local reporter Mary Ann Firth decided to investigate. Her sleuthing turned up nothing. Weeks later, new signs appeared featuring the name of a local park, along with a date and time. Accompanied by a crowd of curious townspeople, Firth went to the park at the appointed time. There she met a man wearing a suit who had cleverly concealed his face. Imagine her surprise when he handed her a bouquet and proposed marriage. The mystery man was Ryan St. Dennis, her boyfriend. She happily accepted. St. Dennis' expression of love toward his fiancée may seem a bit over the top, but God's expression of love for us is nothing short of extravagant. First John tells us, This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. Jesus is not merely a token of love, like a rose passed from one person to another. He is the divine human who willingly gave up his life, so that anyone who believes in him for salvation can have an everlasting covenant relationship with God. Romans 8.39 tells us, Nothing can separate a Christian from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 John chapter 4, verses 9-16. through 16. This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in Him and He in us. He has given us of His Spirit, and we have seen and testify that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. That's today's scripture reading from 1 John chapter 4, verses 9 through 16. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for showing us in the greatest way possible that you love us. Help our lives to demonstrate our love for you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.